Hello friends, and welcome back to Kin Pins. And welcome to another episode where I unbox my bump box. Now if you're new to Kin Pins, welcome. Uh, here on Kin Pins, we do a bunch of Pinterest crafts, but we also do some unboxings like we're doing today with our bump box. Um, I've also have some Hunter Killer stuff on here and any other subscription boxes that might tickle my fancy. So glad to have you joining us for whatever content your heart desires. Now, this is the box that I received in December. It is, I think, five out of nine boxes that I signed up for. So let's open her up and see what we got. I mean, I already know, but y'all don't. Okay, first up, we have more granola. This is a white chip raspberry swirl, which sounds amazing. Uh, I love... I love raspberry. Again, if you haven't seen the other boxes, I've been mixing these into Greek yogurt, which has been a really, really good snack. So I love that they keep sending these. So that's our granola this month. We also received, now before I show you this product, I think this is my favorite named product of anything I've ever gotten from Bump Box. Uh, it is a Perry bottle, but they call it a Vijay Bidet from Soothe Hers. <laughs> The J Bidet is just now my favorite thing to call a Perry bottle. Um, although, the J Spray, if there is a the J Spray Perry bottle, that one would take over. So, obviously, I haven't given birth yet. At the time of filming, I'm about 30 weeks. We are officially into the third trimester home stretch. So, I haven't used this yet, but I'm sure it will be clutch. It will be going in my hospital bag for sure. I know they give you some in the hospital, but. This one has like, I don't know if y'all can see that, um, the longer neck where it just gives me more, more help there. So any help that I can get after what is a planned vaginal delivery uh, will be very helpful. The next item we have is another thing that's gonna help with the hospital bag. They gave me a little toiletry bag, a little toiletry or cosmetics or whatever little travel bag that you can put in your hospital bag. So this will be helpful as well. Uh, I've watched a ton of what to put in your hospital bag videos and one theme throughout a lot of them is the more you can keep things kind of separated and organized, the easier it's going to be. I don't envision me wanting to like bend over a duffel bag and dig through things and the easier it is for Jordan to find what I need because let's be honest, he's going to be the one digging through the bag. The easier it is for things to kind of stay organized and be in their own spot, the better. So I am grateful to have this little this little bag to put some stuff in as well. Then we have, they sent me some no slip socks. This is from Bump Life. Now the no slip on the bottom, it's probably gonna be hard to see on the camera, but they say, one says inhale and one says exhale. And I get what they're going for. So these are again, kind of billed as something that can go in your hospital bag and wear in the hospital. Though I have heard some other tips of like, don't bring stuff you care about to the hospital because there's a lot of bodily fluids that happen when you give birth. And like, so cute pajamas, cute robes, all that. I'm not planning on bringing anything that I'm super attached to just in case. Um, so I don't know if I'll bring these particular ones because I do quite like them. Um, but inhale, exhale. Well, that will not be my pain coping strategy. I feel like swearing is gonna be my pain coping strategy. That phrase itself is one of my personal favorites because of a very specific story. Now, as subscribers to the channel probably know, uh, Jordan and I live in the Austin, Texas area. I lived in Austin for over a decade uh, before I kind of moved out to the burbs here. And there is a lot of artists in Austin and I was driving along one day and I saw this car and they had like spray painted their whole car. And on the bumper, they had inhale, exhale, but the font that they chose very much made it look like whale exhale. And <laughs> now instead of inhale, exhale, my phrase is whale exhale. And I saw it and I was like, like when they blow out their spout, I mean, yeah, that's a good way to relieve some stress, I suppose. Uh, so I, I chuckled personally when I opened up these socks because of that experience. Thank you for going on the journey of my very obscure story with me. Then we have Glow Organics Leg Spray. Now this is uh, Dead Sea Magnesium Salt and Cucumber. So the idea is it is supposed to help with energy levels and healthy sleep, relieves morning sickness. Thankfully that has not been a thing. Nausea hasn't really been a thing for me either, knock on wood. 
um, and aches and pains caused by pregnancy swelling. I, I have had a little bit of swelling in my hands, but that hasn't, again, thankfully been a huge issue for me. So I have not tried this yet, even though I've had it for about a month. I've been sleeping pretty well. I had to get some more pillows to make it a little easier. So I haven't really needed something like this, but I'm sure that's coming as well. So I'm excited to have this. Um, I've heard, you know, magnesium will help with those types of things in pregnancy. I mean, if nothing else, it'll be nice to have like a little spritz kind of help with that bedtime routine. You know, kind of like the wine. I like the wine down before bed. Then last but not least, we have another product from Bella B. So we have received the body wash from them in the past. I have been using that. That's been really nice. These are soothing breast wipes. So it says wipes are ideal for use before and after breastfeeding to soothe, cleanse, and refresh. So it helps with, you know, chapped nipples and things like that, uh, while being safe for your baby to still breastfeed. Now the plan we have with baby is I'm hoping to pump and then bottle feed so that Jordan and I can both feed, you know, share the burden. I am, we'll see. We'll just see how it goes. That's the plan. It doesn't mean that it's going to work for us, but you know, have a plan, adjust as needed. That's, that's the goal. But even with pumping, like the boobies are going to need some help. So <laughs> I'm sure these will be very refreshing. And this comes with 24 wipes. Oh, and it gives a tip. If wipes dry out, simply add purified water to reactivate, which is, oh, is it? When you have wipes like this and they dry out, isn't that so frustrating? So that's everything that came in our box this month. Now let's go over some prices. So the Bump Life Toiletry Bag is $17.99. The Soothe Hers Vijay Bidet, $14.99. The Leg Spray, this is $18. For a body product, not bad. Oh, and I will, just to interrupt here really quick, update on stretch marks because that's been a more expensive body product item in the boxes. I have started to get a little bit of stretch marks here and there, so prevention has not been 100% successful, but they're not bad, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes over the next eight to 10 weeks and how they heal afterwards, but I have been using the really expensive stretch mark cream. I've been using some of that there, continuing with the body, the belly oil that we got a box or two ago, and then the Palmer's stretch mark cream. All in all, I'm not disappointed. I feel like my skin and my abs are still holding up pretty well. Hang in there, little buddies, you got those. The Whale Exhale Socks, $13.99, and the, they call these the Nipple Nurture Breast Wipes. These are $3.99. So $4 for 24 wipes. I would imagine that you would go through these pretty quick. I'm planning on also getting like nipple bombs and things like that. So I'm not just depending on something like a wipe, which brings our box total to $68.96. Pretty good return. Fun to get some stuff that's gonna go in my hospital bag because that's something that we'll be packing in a few weeks here. We've also, just general pregnancy update, uh, have officially gotten out invites for like baby shower and done all that stuff. Uh, my mother-in-law has been helping organize all of that and I think I'm officially starting to nest. I don't know, we are doing some nursery arranging. We've got some rearranging of our house in general to do that I've been um, way more motivated to do recently than I have in the last 30 weeks. So yeah, with this box, that's everything that came in it. Again, a lot of stuff for hospital bags. So I haven't had the normal amount of like being able to try this stuff. So I don't have tons of reviews for these things right now, but I am excited about them. I did like this box. This whole subscription has been a great experience thus far. So we have, I think four boxes left and one or two of those should be their Bitsy boxes that are more for postpartum. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. If you want me to unbox anything else in particular, drop that in a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video, like this video. If you didn't like this video, like this video. And again, subscribe. Subscribe so you don't miss any of the content, any of the Kim. I hope your new year is off to a fantastic start thus far. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.